Okay, so we have parts to rebuild the valve body or the mechatronic unit. So we're gonna put all the parts together and that part that was missing here, or not missing, but that was broken in here. And here's a part. So this is actually made out of aluminum and this is the part that broke off. So I had a Custom Machine Works uh, fabricate one for me and this is a little bit weighted. So this is made out of stainless steel. So this will not break or come off um, from the clip that's in here. So yeah, so let's get to doing the rebuild. And for that, to put it back, we're just putting the parts back on there. For example, this little screen goes on right there. The steel ball goes there. You have your little um, plastic ball, and now it sits in right there. Okay, so we're gonna put the spring in here, like so. And in there, we're gonna put this, and this one will be facing in like this. And you'll see how it goes in there. Maybe. It's kind of difficult. So it looks like it's a perfect fitment. So now we're gonna just put this ring on here. So it won't come off anymore. Or it won't pop out. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Yeah, that should be it. So now we can put this back on so we just put this on here like so and you don't want to lose that just put that on there and to um, screw this on you'll just just do the reverse of what we did before so for that one it'll be the um, T20 and that will be uh, these two screws right here. So now I'll just get the screws for that one. Screw this one right here. And that's a. Uh, T20. Now we can put the top side up here. Like so. And for that one, that'll be uh, T30. And there are gonna be eight of them. So you're gonna just gonna um, screw these back over here. So those eight screws that are right here, they all go here. So it's one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's the pattern that's gonna be on there. So that one, as I said, is gonna be a, a T30 just to put all these on there. And it's just gonna be um, as tight as you can make it. I don't know what the pounds um, force that you need to use on here, but when I took this out, it's not as tight. So it's just as, uh, as tight as you want it to be. There we go, now it's back on. And now we're gonna add the top portion of that one. And we can just flip it over. Like so, and I'm just gonna take these and I'll just put it back together. So this has uh, two guide pins. So this, here's one, and here's the other one. So when you put this top unit over here, like so, 
is a pin that should be uh, lined up to right, right there. And the other one right up there. Sounds good. So now we can just screws on. And they're all the same size uh, for all the screws that are going to be on here. And for that one, the size is going to be a T25. Okay, so we got it done. Finally put it back together. I have a new part right there. That's fixed, and hopefully, I see some positive results from this, and that the car is driving perfectly normal again. So, if you want to know more information or how I got um, all this for this uh, mechatronic unit, um, it'll be right here. So, this is the Get Rag um, Transmission Index. So, this even has like the solenoids, like what you would you would need if you wanted to purchase them online. Um, it's got the serial numbers right here for this one, the DCT uh, 470 transmission. And also it's got your parts right here too. So it tells you even how it goes, you know, the seals and everything on there. And even the schematic of the build as well, how many screws, um, you know, what the names are. Um, like for example, this uh, spacer plate and even the way um, how all these um, solenoids have these um, seals and springs that go in there as well. And the parts that were destroyed on mine would have to be right here. Um, that was the num part number 368, which is right here. Let's see if I can find it. 368 would be right here. And it's called a sec um, secondary pressure regular valve force uh, plug so that's the one I had to replace on on this uh, mechatronic unit but yeah I'm gonna add this link below on the with the description of where to find this and it's got everything you would need um, to rebuild your transmission even also the um, the ports for all the oils too as well when you're on fifth gear or even if you're on like on a fourth gear it'll show you all that right there so yeah